Yo, welcome Flyfers. So before we jump into this little video series, it's a new type of series that we're doing on the channel. It's called Gala's Little Helper. I want to make a little disclaimer because this series is not meant to like just brainlessly criticize Gala for what it's doing. It's actually trying to point out stuff that is wrong with Life Universe and giving a um, a suggestion how to do it better that is not like vague that is actually on point and calculated well and is in my opinion fitting the players needs a lot and this time we will cover the red ship distribution that's currently available in the guild siege so let's first take a look at the current situation before we're taking a look at how you could do it better um, I will try to be as constructive in the criticism as possible. At the moment we are having a red ship distribution that gives the first guild on, on rank 1 63 pieces, the second one 18 and the third one 9. And this can be multiplied by the number of participating guilds, which in theory could be a good idea to encourage more guilds in participating. But in reality, it just brings people that think they are a really strong guild to sign up like just dummy guilds to gain more chips. So it didn't work out that this is providing any more um, interest of different guilds since only the top three guilds are getting a reward. So there's no reason for basically for any guild that is not like at least certain that they can get like a third spot to actually apply. And this is a big issue. And the next issue is that for some classes, not all of them, the sets, the PvP sets that you can obtain with the red ships are really, really strong. And if one guild would basically um, be full with those um, PvP sets, other guilds would have a really, really hard time um, to compete against them. And if you're looking at the amount of um, <laughs> ships, you're able to get from a first rank with a full setup. This is 9,750 pieces, so almost a full set with every win. While like a third place, for example, needs to win um, 10 times to maintain one set in comparison. So this distribution of red chips will create a huge gap between like really good PvP players and maybe like mediocre players or compared to like a really strong guild with a lot of players compared to like a smaller guild but that still wants to compete and therefore we need to change something in the situation and what we need to do or like what the goal what's the goal in the um in the new suggestion that i'm giving is try to reduce the gap between um like top scorers and low scorers give the people a participation reward so if they're go if they're really like trying give them a reward so it actually feels like worth it because everyone that is joining is spending a shit ton of money on power-ups and whatsoever so they should get at least like something small in return but while this is all going on and it seems a bit soft like everyone should get something there should still be like an advantage for like scoring first place or like being the best at your class and I think this suggestion covers all of this. So instead of having like fixed amount of red chips that you can gain, I would suggest that the total amount of the guild points that you're scoring is basically your red chips that are rewarded to your guild, not personally, only to the guild. And they will be placed into the guild bank after a guild siege. And the higher your guild is scoring, the higher the multiplicator is for those red ships. And as you can see right here, the gap is now smaller between like, for example, the first place and the fourth place that basically got no red ships. And this way, even like a, like a newcomer guild that is just learning and whatever, still has the feeling and um, the reward of some red ships and they can work their way up. 
Then the next part is the participation reward. To not be able to abuse this, I recommend that you need to at least score one kill. I know that this may be impossible for a class like a ringmaster, for example. So I would recommend that the ringmaster that joins that joins siege and is actively playing, like using skills, holy cross, whatever, which can be tracked, and that he would get a total of 90 red chips. And while all the others have a total of 50 red chips, they can still earn additional red chips with each kill. So each kill they are getting will earn them like 50 plus two, and then each other kill another two. This way, all the kills feel worth something and you feel like you achieved something. And um, since the balance at the moment is not um, the best, it's not the worst, but it's also not the best. There are still some tweaking points and we are having the opportunity here to bring more diversity and more different classes into Siege by giving them an incentive and not only looking at like MVP for like all the best of all classes, which is always really balance heavy. And the balance would have to be perfect for MVP to be like a valid suggestion of skill, for example. And therefore, I would recommend that we are doing a um, 300 total red chips for the highest score of each um, job class, 200 red chips for the second highest, and 100 red chips additional for the third highest score of each class. And this way, I'm pretty sure we will get more diversity because people will, um, for example, are more likely to join with a ringmaster. They are more likely to join maybe with an elementer because they may not be able to score like top with the elementer, but they may be able to get the second highest score of the elementer. And boops, they are having like almost 260 red chips a siege. Yeah, those are my suggestions. I hope Gala actually listens um, to those suggestions and implements them soon because I think if they are not implemented in the near future, um, PvP will die out pretty quickly and many some guilds will be demotivated to even join because they don't want to compete versus guilds with full pvp gear where they maybe get like a one kill um and while the other guild gets like 10 or 15 on them which feels not fun and not rewarding yeah cheers everyone i wish everyone a good night and this series will have many parts so stay tuned don't forget to subscribe so you can watch all the suggestions and try to deliver them to Gala and create some hype around it so they actually listen because Gala only moves his feet when there's actually like the whole community prowling up against it. Cheers guys.